Welcome to another edition of Coonrod's Corner, brought to you by the Rogers Corporation. Today's topic, why are there so many high-frequency materials with different dielectric constant? Here is your host, John Coonrod. Hello and welcome to Coonrod's Corner. My name is John Coonrod. I am a market development engineer for Rogers Corporation with the Advanced Circuit Materials Division Group. I'm going to spend the next few minutes talking about why there are so many different dielectric constants and so many different materials with different dielectric constants that are used in the microwave printed circuit board industry. Now, as a general rule, the uh, digital designs and high-speed digital designs, they typically don't have the need for the wide range of dielectric constant that is found in the RF industry. The RF, microwave, or millimeter wave industry, they have several different needs for uh, materials with a wide range of dielectric constant, or what I've been referring to as DK. Now, the, uh, the reason really is, is that uh, many of these designs, the microwave designs, the features on the printed circuit board, the physical size is related to wavelength, and a wavelength is actually related to the dielectric constant of the material itself. So on this slide, there are several different uh, microwave circuits that are shown, and the ring resonator shown in the middle here, uh, the circumference of that ring is actually related to a half wavelength at the frequency that it resonates at. Now, if you use this same design on a material with a higher dielectric constant, that circumference would decrease and you'd still have the same resonant peak frequency. So the dielectric constant can be used to, min to uh, miniaturize or to shrink down the size of a circuit. The strip resonator to the right of that is uh, using two feed lines coming in from the left and the right, and they're usually a 50 ohm transmission line going to a wider section, which is the strip resonator. And the strip resonator has a physical length of a uh, half wave length for a 20 gigahertz in this case, as it's labeled. And it's also assuming a certain dielectric constant of the material. Now, if this same circuit was designed a material with a higher dielectric constant, the length of that resonator element would get much smaller. And then finally, the bandpass filter, and what it's doing is using combinations of these uh, strip resonators to get a filter function. So these are strip resonators that are put in parallel, and they couple across to each other the energy at a certain wavelength. And in this case, it'd be a half wavelength at whatever it's designed at. Again, if the dielectric constant was different, the size of this structure could actually be bigger or smaller, depending if the dielectric constant was lower or higher. Patch antennas are also used very often in microwave and millimeter wave industry, and the physical size of the patch is related to wavelength. A patch is generally half wavelength, and that can vary, but in general that's a good comment. And the materials that are typically used for radiating elements like a patch antenna are normally the low dielectric constant materials. Lower dielectric constant materials can radiate energy better than high dielectric constant materials. So in the case of a patch antenna, the actual printed circuit board is usually a combination of materials where it's a multilayer, and you have feed lines that are feeding the energy to the radiating element, and those feed lines you do not want to radiate energy. You want to get all the energy from the feed line to the radiating element. So the feed lines are typically used in a strip line structure with a higher dielectric constant, so the energy does not radiate on the feed lines. Once the energy is brought to the resonating element of the patch, then the patch is going to be on a dielectric that's very low or lower, and that lower dielectric constant helps the patch radiate energy much more effectively. Now, dielectric constants are also used, specifically higher dielectric constants are also used to miniaturize a circuit and still have the same electrical function of the circuit. Now, the following slide is going to show pictures of several different circuits that have the same electrical function, but are using different dielectric constant materials to shrink the circuit. In this slide, the uh, circuit on the top right is a microstrip transmission line where you have a signal conductor on top and a ground plane on the bottom, and it's using a lower dielectric constant material. The bottom right picture is the same type of transmission line circuit using a high dielectric constant material, and you can see there's quite a difference in wavelength there, where the high dielectric constant material has much shorter waves. To the left is a picture of hairpin filter designs. The hairpin filter design is really related to the, the shape of the resonator, which is a hairpin or a U-shape, and they have multiple resonators put together to get the filter to function the way that it's desired. Now, what's interesting here is the same design is used on three different materials, as I've shown, and you get the same electrical response out of the, uh, the, the same design, except you get a much smaller filter. So the filter on the top using the three dielectric constant is obviously larger than the filter using the six dielectric constant material, and the smallest is using the 10 dielectric constant material. And even though these are physically different in size, you actually get the same uh, response electrically from the circuit. So the higher dielectric constant material enables you to miniaturize or shrink down the circuit size. 
That concludes this visit to Coonrod's Corner, and I thank you for your attention. For additional information and technical tools, if you are not already a member, join the Rogers Technology Support Hub and gain access to calculators, technical papers, and more of Coonrod's Corner and other informational videos. Rogers Technical Information is also available at your fingertips with the Rog mobile app, available for the iPhone, iPad, and Android devices. Check it out today. Thank you.